Ryan's coming home from rehab soon, and I want to have a better relationship with him. So I asked his parents to meet so we can all get on the same page. Uh, how's Ryan doing? Have y'all heard from him recently? Yes, he's doing really, really good. Good. I'm proud of him. I'm he proud he of really him. is doing very well. Yeah. Yeah. This is, a, this is the longest he's gone, though, too. So you can yeah. tell he's committed. Serious. He's committed to it. Mac has really been hard. Yeah. He's been tough. Yeah. yeah. I'm he, sure. She told, she told him, if you don't complete this program, you can come to the pod, get your Mm. And live in Tent City. And live in Tent City. <laughs> but I know, I do know this. I do know that Ryan wants to sit down and talk to you. Mm. I think, I mean, I do know from what he said to me, he wants to work things out where y'all can communicate. You're making along. He's a lot he's mm -hmm. sorry for. He's very sorry about a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And he'll probably tell you that when he, he just wants, um, I don't I really guess know what as he wants. The sober Ryan mm -hmm. to feel like he matters. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and he definitely does. I think he still blames me for Go ahead and say it. Taking the lead because of Bentley. And he wasn't able to make that happen. He says he feels like he's an uncle. Yeah. And he did something. And not a father. Mm -hmm. And I know. A lot of that's been his fault. Mm -hmm. He needs to know, I think, from all of us that he, Ryan, made bad decisions. But I think yeah. it was the addiction. Yes. Yeah. Which, mm -hmm. you know, caused that rift between me and him. Mm -hmm. Was this something that I couldn't tolerate anymore? <laughs> no, I was so over it. <laughs> I had to say some hateful things. Mm -hmm. He said some hateful things. He wanted to hurt me, and I wanted to hurt him. <sighs> and I know it still bothers him because it still bothers me. It's a tough life. <laughs> I can say one thing. I mean, it may, it's been really it's been hard times four. But for me, one thing has never left. And it's that I love you. <laughs> Both and Ryan. I love you too, baby. And that will never go away. That will never, ever go away. Nope. And it's going to have to start with you guys, you and Ryan. Yeah. I will call my attorney and ask, but the restraining order shouldn't stop us from talking and meeting with each other and yeah. doing counseling and stuff. Give me the kisses. Yay, mommy! Give mommy good sugars. No, like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay! <laughs> I love my baby.